everyone. I'm going to be doing our Crafty Patches Junk Journal Challenge that Cell has put out for September and I thought I'd video it because my process was a little bit different from Cell's I think and I just thought you know give you a different perspective on we're making a library card and um, slip we're making the library pouch and slip I can't remember what it's called now <laughs> oh well I'll edit it in um, I'm going to be putting it in this is the journal that I started at the beginning of the year or lap book that I started at the beginning of the year and it's I've put in all our little on the side challenges and a few other junk journal challenges um, and because I've put a pocket here I'm actually going to put it here I think the um, the little pocket and slip so I was having a look at what color I would like to put there so I was having a look at the envelopes um, I actually think I might use this one I do like that gold one though Mm, no, we'll put a little a brighter colour on. So I'm going to use this envelope, and because my the page here isn't very wide, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't go over three and a half inches. So it'll be about um, no wider than I'll say three inches, and no, and I'll have it about four inches long. I think okay all right so I just wanted to show you where I was going to put it this is getting rather full now it should be finished by the end of the year that that's what we started in January in group or what I started anyway okay so I've got my envelope and I am going to glue it all together take the right end of the glue off so I'm just going to put a bit of glue here and glue that together okay so now I want to cut it down and like I said I don't want it any wider than three inches um, and I, the length is about four so what I'm going to do for the width I'm going to cut it at three I'm going to cut it at four inches right so that's four that's my four inches and I'm just I've got like a little pouch like that okay so I'm going to keep the bottom together and I'm going to cut it at four inches for the height. Is that right? Hmm. Yes, four inches for the height. Okay, <laughs> is that right? I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. Now also, um, I'm going to... Where am I? I'm going to open up this side here so I'm going to leave the bottom folded and I'm just going to open up the other side so I just want to really just cut like a little sliver off that side there okay I'll cut it properly Wendy I'll just snip that off okay so it opens up like that but that will be the bottom there where the fold is and then I'm going to grab my scoreboard okay and I'm going to put the bottom the folded part down the bottom and I'm going to score a half an inch either side so I've got half an inch there and a half an inch there okay 
part I did need one more cut um, all right so we've got that like that this is going to be the front of mine so I'm going to come down and cut that at um, I want like a little flap left open so I might cut it at three quarters of an inch all right so that's going to that's what that's going to look like mine's going to be a different color there because my envelopes aren't all the one color like cells were now I'm just going to get my scissors and open it up okay and the longer side I'm going to cut my up to the score mark so I'm going to cut that half an inch off either side okay And that's what it'll look like then and then with the front part I'm just going to mitre it down cutting on the smaller part I'm just going to mitre those the long strip strips off just like that all right so it looks something like that from the front now what I might also do because you can see the white inside of my envelope I am just going to um, just with an off cut I'm just going to put that there I think and then it will all be the same okay so I'm just going to glue that on there put some glue along that oh dear now we've got the lawn mowing man going okay so that was just with an off cut from the envelope and I'm just going to cut the excess off either side so that it's even okay and you close that up like that and that's what it looks like now where you've scored the front of it I'm just going to fold that over just like that I don't think that was straight then okay and just open them back out again and I'm going to glue them to the back so that when you turn it over here you've got all that space in there to put your card okay so I'll glue that side glue them to the back I'm not worrying about the back too much because that's actually going to be glued down to my page so we've made our our little pocket I will round my edges my corners just up the top here like that one there and one there and what I should have done before I glued that top one down let's put a bit of ink on it I'm going to do that now um, you don't really have to do the inking but I just like it so I'm just going to just put a little bit of ink there and ink around the edges too so that's my way of making the actual pocket now sell sell use some lined paper 
which I have here. Um, so I could use just some lined paper, just from a little pad. Um, I will just trim that off just a little bit there. I don't have a fancy typewriter or anything um, like Cell does. That was a good pickup that she did from the op shop and I'm just going to I don't know if I want to place it on the front or inside. I might do both because you can use that for, for, for a journaling spot in your journal. So that's going to be my page there. So let me think. I might just make it a little bit longer. Just cut that one. So I'll cut that off there. Okay, so that can get glued to the front and you could, oh, and do it drawing the lines. Um, what I've also got is I've got this little library card that I'd printed and it was printed from Witchcraft Do You Do? I think it was one of Kerry's. Um, see I could also place that there but because this is on a thicker cardboard I could use that for a journaling card and that could actually go inside that there so really what I'm thinking I might not do the front like Cell did I might actually just leave it um, with this library card and decorate the front so that I can put it in my journal. Um, I think that might be the way to go for me. So I'll just finish off this anyway first until I make up my mind. So then what I would do, is that a black or a blue pen? Oh, that's blue. Okay, my lines are blue here. So I would just do a couple of a line, maybe a line down there, just with a blue pen, um, and leave it like that. And up the top, I could just grab a black, like a black part marker pen. And just up here, I can just handwrite due date. So if you don't have, um, I've got stamps too, I suppose I could have... Um, why did that run upwards? Must have hit it. Mm -hmm. So I could just leave that like that and put that on the front and have that like that still and still have that card in there for journaling. Um, but I actually think that I might leave that go and I've got a few bits and pieces here that I think I might like to just like decorate the front of this up somehow I've got uh, because my my journals like a um, a floral fauna and flora journal having a look here to see I've got some little circles these are from hmm, lavender blue lavender blue journals 
think I like that one better. And I thought they, they'd just go nicely in here. So let me see. I don't know if I want all of this on there now. The front a bit. And maybe a little label just there. Um, hmm. Now I can't make up my mind because I do like that too. But I think that's just a bit plain to go in with these pages here. So let me ink those up. These ones are from Artie Mays, these little printables. So maybe if I put a little tuck spot there, I can just put these in under there as a tuck spot. Okay, I might do that. I'm going to put a little bit of stamping on my pocket here. Text stamping on that there. We'll put that on there. And I'm going to leave that open at the back so it's going to be a little tuck spot as well. I like that idea a bit better. So I just want just a bit of glue there and we're going to put that there and I can leave that open for a tuck spot. I might just bring that glue out a little bit more because I don't need it that that wide but I do want it to hold whatever I put in there oh that's a bit better okay so that is that actually going to go in there I will ink around this card here so that is my my library pocket made from an envelope and that is going to go in in my lap book oh I like it okay so that's how easy it was um, to make it that way and I might put that in my journal now and also just put this down as a pocket as well so that I will have I can put something in behind there okay so I'll just put some glue around three sides I need to just put a bit more glue under that because I don't want that pulling up when I put something in behind it okay and I'm going to put that down just there so that's an, just another decoration in my lap book, lap book hopefully it will be finished by the end of the year I think this is the longest I've ever taken on um, on making <laughs> a lap book okay so that's going to go in there all right guys so that's how easy that was but I did show you how to do that as well if you wanted to put that little flap to make it look more authentic um, you could stamp due date or whatever on there um, but I, I just chose to use this library card for a journaling spot okay all right thanks everyone uh, I hope you'll have a go at sales challenge it's a pretty cool one this month making the library card and library pocket Okay, you all have a great day and I will catch you later. Bye bye guys.